because I forgot what? my shades at home and that glare and the and the temperature and the I don't know. We're I was like a hot, I was a hot people. mess I know. today. You know? Yeah, you know, that's sunshine problems, right? <laughs> <laughs> we'll take it. Yeah, well, don't forget them tomorrow, too, because you'll yep. need them again. Hey, check this out. Great time lapse from our sky cam out at the reserve golf course. Look at the low clouds building from north to south while the upper clouds are moving from southwest to northeast. Really beautiful there and then some great sunset light. That would be called wind shear when you have wind going in different directions at different elevations here. But again, a really nice display of the clouds as they were zipping along at sunset. Then there's this picture from Sun River. Linda McSwain sending in this saying, hey, what's up with this rainbow in the sky like this? Well, this is called in the vernacular a fire cloud in the technical iridescence. And this happens when you have sunlight being diffracted by the ice crystals or water droplets, but in this case, ice crystals within those clouds. They need to be small. They need to be oriented the same way and they need to be really uniform. That usually happens with newly formed clouds. So a great display of iridescence over Sun River. And then finally, last night from the Laurel Porter Posse, of picture takers. That's right. Sorry. Dustin had to, had Schneider. <laughs> My nephew in law. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, its members are many. Uh, this <laughs> Mount Hood from Lost Lake last night. And uh, this is the star Antares. I think I called it Arcturus at 630. It's Antares. Big and bright, sometimes confused with Mars or Jupiter. But a great look at Lost Lake and Mount Hood and the Milky Way as well. So 79 today. Missed it by that much. I know. It's, yeah, it's an old reference to an old bad television show. 80 degrees in Salem, though, and in Eugene, Medford, 83. You know what, though? We have a chance of making 80 tomorrow, and I'll show you why. Now, there were a few showers that developed over eastern Oregon. Even this evening, they're hanging on. There's a better chance of that happening tomorrow because our upper level winds will be a little bit more southerly, and that's a little more conducive to getting thunderstorms and showers developing. It is going to be over and east of the Cascades. I don't think we see anything in the valleys, nor do our models think there will be. You can see the scattered nature here as we go into tomorrow afternoon. They will blow to the northeast, but some of those may produce some heavy rain. Then as we go into Friday, the showers will become more widespread. We'll have a chance of those in the valleys and then Saturday and Sunday look wet, really wet. Now this is the thunderstorm forecast. Don't think we'll get anything severe, but there is the potential for some heavy rain from these storms. And for that reason, already a flash flood watch issued across north central Washington for heavy rains. And if it falls on any of the burn scars from the fires we've had over the last several years, we could get some flash flooding. Now look at the rainfall. See how we have more east of the Cascades than we do west of the Cascades. This is through Friday afternoon, but from that point on, it's all about the rain on the west side. We'll get about a quarter of an inch as we go into Saturday afternoon, but from that point on, Saturday night into Sunday, that's about an inch of rain. It's going to rain hard as we go through the middle part of the weekend, which unfortunately means wet weather. It's going to rain on your starlight parade, basically. Winds may, I know, it, that's a, that is totally a bummer. Winds will pick up a bit too, potentially, but again, expect it to be rather wet in Portland on Saturday night. Tomorrow, though, we're going to go at least to the mid to upper 70s, and I think if the clouds stay thin enough, we have a chance of making 80 tomorrow. We'll give it a shot. We may end up at 79 just like today, but it'll be close. 66 right now, freezing level 10,500 feet. Alrighty then, partly cloudy tonight and partly sunny tomorrow. We'll give it a 78. I don't want to get set the expectations too high, you know, just two days in a row. You think our expectations are high these days? Laurel, I've been working with you far too long to know anything different from that. I do uh, have a question though. If you're Maxwell Smart and she's Agent 99, then who am I? Uh, what was it, the chief? I guess oh, that's, you're the there, chief. that's the only right. option, right? There we go. Make a good Agent 99. <laughs>